What's up, everybody? I am here at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival in Goshen, Indiana. It is very, very hot and, and humid in this building, but we're gonna have a blast today. The reason why we're here is the Death Racers. PCB Way sponsored my Death Racer today. We have printed it all in SLS straight from PCB Way themselves. I got the parts about two days ago. So we are in a mad dash. I don't know if we're gonna get it finished before the races, but we're gonna try our hardest. This is the first Death Racer ever built, almost completely by SLS Nylon 12. We don't know how it's gonna hold up during the races. We hope it's gonna hold up great, but we're gonna find out. Let's do it. So this is the table I'm working with today. This is gonna be our uh, spinning blade weapon. As you can see, we have the guys, the crew, we'll call it the crew from Offset Maker Lab. I can't wait to see if this thing comes together. <laughs> it's kind of a chaotic mess right now on the table. This is what's gonna happen next. All right, now we've resorted to the claw tooth hammer. Hey, we got it! Yes! Yes! All right, so we had to use fire and a claw tooth hammer on that. Now we're gonna get motors in for the uh, weapon itself. And uh, just so we all know, the weapon itself it's kind of untested. That motor's 10,000 RPM, so we're hoping it doesn't blow itself apart, but we're gonna find out. While they are working on my Death Racer trying to get it ready, I wanted to show you some of their creations. This is the Offset Maker Lab table, and classics, we got the uh, Batman, Bridezilla, because uh, they're getting married. Kim and Ryan are gonna get married this year. We got uh, Buzz, definitely the Buzz Lightyear, and this is some awesome craftsmanship here. These guys are masters at what they do. There is a uh, DeLorean there, that is pretty cool. And then if we come right over here, not only do they have all of these Death Racers here at the event, they have the XL, the giant, the beast Death Racer. This thing is massive. Offset Maker Lab, find them on Instagram. I'll post the link in the description and you can see all of the awesome stuff they're building. Another interjection during the build, this is Sam Prentice. He is the uh, creator, co-founder of the Death Racers. Yeah. And uh, he is the man, He's you can see his stuff all behind us over here, but he's the man that put this all together. We've been working with him for the last couple of years. Yes, we And uh, the reason why we're here scrambling to get this uh, SLS PCB Way sponsored Death Racer together today. I love PCB it, Way. Hi Elaine, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. So PCB Way sponsored an SLS fully printed SLS racer. There was only a couple pieces that I missed in the files, which were the seat bracket and the seat themselves. But I decided to put uh, PCB way colors in there, and we made those. And uh, so they again, got me. They got me the parts two days ago. Oh wow! So I'm looking forward to this battle today. Yeah. This was, you know, I've been talking to the guys at Murph, and there's an expectation I think that a lot of people had, and. I'm now getting to grips with what the true meaning of the festival is really about. And there is a lot of people here. I was just outside in another building that next year we're going to be using for races and stuff. I'm going to show you that shortly. Okay. But we had a really good talk about the true meaning of Rep Rap and really what this festival is about right. and why it's different from other festivals that you might have seen. So, that you know, undoubtedly we're going to be back next year with Death Racers and other stuff as well. We've got the Tiny Bike. Oh, the tiny bike. We haven't seen the tiny bike yet. Yeah. yeah, so we've got a go-kart that's coming as well. That's part of something that we're calling Print My Ride. Okay. So there's going to be a bunch of 3D printed uh, modes of transport. Really good stuff. And yeah. uh, PCB Way, once again, has come up trumps for you. Yeah. And uh, you've got someone else building it for you. Yeah. So. Well, see, they, Ryan here designed the weapon. Right. So he sent me the, the files. And then, hey, we got a, we got a Nero in the background. He designed the files, and uh, so because we got parts two days ago, he said, bring them. I have the other, he had all the mechanical parts. I had the files. Right. So we brought them. He's in the background over here uh, assembling and, and getting it ready, and we are hoping we make it by race time. Got it. Sam, thank you so much, man. I, I'm super pumped for the races. We'll see the races soon. But first, this thing has to get built, and... I don't know if we have enough time. We're going to find out. It. I'm sure you'll do We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You've got a good team. All right. See you then. Later. Later. Okay. okay, so it looks like we have uh, the weapon motor mounted in here. There's some wiring coming out. Um, we are now working on the top part of the weapon. We have to put another ESC, the, the thing that controls the motor in. Um, we are working on that. Steve and Ryan uh, are just busting it. They're doing their best here to try to get us up and running. We have to redo the wiring. We have to rewire, uh, apparently. So we're tearing it apart. <laughs> the wiring has to be rewired and we're gonna figure out how to do that. So 
it's gonna set us back a little bit. The current dilemma is that the uh, SLS PCB way parts that we got are so tight fitting because of the tolerances that it's not coming apart easy. It didn't go together real easy. It took me like an hour to put this little guy together and now they're trying to get it apart because we have to rewire. And when we have to rewire it, uh, we need to get that switch out right there. Their tolerances on their parts are so tight that it's different for FDM and <laughs> it's definitely not easy to get apart. Steve, why are we having to redo the switch? So on, on something like this, any RC vehicle, you, with power coming in with a kill switch, you want to have the main line from the battery go up to the kill switch and then down into your electronics. That way, when the switch is triggered and your machine is shut down, power can't get to any of the RC components. That means yeah. it can't take off on its own. It can't, it just it just shuts down and it's off. Sure. Uh, also, we were having trouble with um, the wires. Like a lot of people were using the switches on the ESCs to kill the, the racer, uh, but those wires are a lot smaller. So there's a voltage issue uh, of power going through them. So. so so the instructions originally were wrong and we're fixing that. And we're fixing that. Okay. We are working on just it. Just making sure I didn't screw up when I was rushing to build this thing. No more than anybody else. Maybe I did. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. This is another racer that they built for me uh, for the East Coast Rep Rap Festival. Trying to figure out what is going on with the drive. It's not uh, acting right. I think we think it's a, a mixed problem or something. So we're going to find out. Um, and, and kind of dive in and find out. But yeah, this is the other racer. Just so you know where we're at, we are soldering on the uh, PCB way racer. We are in a time crunch. We're really trying to get this done so we can race during race time. Ryan here is uh, creating all the smoke. Jeremy over here is uh, working on the body, trying to make sure everything's good there. Part of working on these is actually setting up the radio as well, the, the controller you use to race them. And that's what we're going through right now. He's going through all the setup on the radio to get this thing ready for when it's ready to go. So here's the deal. We are building this thing. We're trying to beat the clock and actually race it. But I have an extra piece that I uh, purposely made so we could do a stress test, a smash test on the concrete floor here at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival. This is an SLS nylon 12 printed part. I am going to throw this at the floor and we're going to see what happens. All right. Okay, it bounced quite good. Let's see. Let's see, do we do anything to it? You know, I see where it hit. It is rounded a little bit on that, there's a, there's teeth here. It's rounded a little bit, but this thing didn't crack, it didn't break. If it held up to being smashed on the floor like that, we should smash it again, right? Here we go. We have nothing. I think this stuff is gonna hold up good. I hope we make it to the race and then we're gonna see how it goes there. I'm gonna pull apart one of these classic PLA wheels and we are gonna to attempt to smash it as well. So we're gonna pull this thing apart, we're gonna get this PLA out and then we're gonna see how this one does in a smash test as well. Quick update on this racer before we smash the PLA plastic gear and see what happens. Wiring is almost done, weapon is almost on roughly an hour till race time. So I'm hoping we can get there. This is a part I just harvested from a donor vehicle that I brought with me. I believe this is PLA Pro. It may not break either, but I'm not sure what it's gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Oh, that sounded bad. Look at this. Total separation in the layers. This thing is a disaster now, look at this. Oh man, I, that is a catastrophic failure. Uh, that just shows the SLS is definitely a lot stronger. The, there's two gears here that are missing and a complete failure in all uh, in a bunch of these layers. Look at this. So uh, I think it's safe to say that mine's going to be stronger. As long as the gears hold up, we're going to find out. So part of the Midwest Rep Rap Festival is it's like a giant family reunion. And I can uh, prove that right over here by Dan Adams here. He's right here. He is our cook extraordinaire. This is a giant pot of uh, jambalaya. He's cooking it outside in a big turkey fryer. He, he printed some handles for the Red Solo Cups because they get pretty hot. And uh, he is like cooking for a ton of people outside. And I this is one of my favorite parts. He did this last year too. Dan, thank you so much, man. This is, this is awesome. We're building the Death Racer trying to get it done in time. I know. And we are hungry and we're ready to eat. And he came through in the nick of time. Thank, so Dan, thank you so much, man. No problem, no problem. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers. We're getting so close now. It is taking three people to hold this thing and get 
The uh, holes to line up, we're really down to the line now. So we are 30 minutes from the first death race. We are working on the weapon now. We have a radio bound, so it drives. We know it drives. We have not tested the weapon yet, but at least we have a driving machine. Um, what do you guys think, about 10, maybe 10 minutes-ish? If everything goes right? As long as it's- Oh man, I hope so. I've been saying that all day, uh, and it's turned into hours redoing this thing. The first race is in 30 minutes. We are minutes before the race. The weapon is officially going on, as you can see here. He is just getting it, everything screwed in. The belt is being tensioned. We're getting the body secured to the frame. I could not do this without the crew here from Offset Maker Lab. They have been amazing. Kim has been awesome hanging out with us too, helping me film. We saw how durable that gear was, but how durable is the racer gonna be? I have no idea. Thank you again to PCB Way for making this possible. I can't wait to get these side plates on to represent. We do not have time to finish screwing them in on this race. So we are gonna get them on, we're gonna glue them on. Oh man, we just got this done. There's already a crowd. We gotta get over there and race. I just made it. Everybody's waiting for me. I'm so sorry, man. I'll put mine on the side over here. I don't want to bash too hard. My secret is to hide back for the final race, and then we're going to get past that finish line. Yeah. Okay, so... Now that we've got past that, I was just kind of playing defense on that one, trying not to bash the car up too much. I'm really looking forward to the final death race because that's what the fun is. Some things about this car so far that I noticed it's really rear heavy because of the weapon and it does wheelies. Um, it means it doesn't turn the greatest, so we'll have to counterbalance it probably for the next races. But we're, we're doing great. The weapon is not spinning currently, but we'll hopefully get it spinning somehow. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I don't have a weapon. Come on. Well, we're just going to have to go. We're just going to have to go in with no weapon. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we have a weapon. All right, here we go. My spinner. Oh, there we go. My spinner is deadly. On. Yeah! Woo! PCB way for the win, baby! So I'm here with Sam after the big races. They're still going They're still on. still going on. I'm like, what the hell's going but, on? But um, the first per, first big Mur, uh, Murph race here at Midwest Rep Rep Fest, yes. how do you think it went? Yeah. Um, you know what? Inside's kind of a different ball game. And um, I've lost my voice already. That's kind of crazy. But that's not uncommon for these kind of races. Yeah. But, um, it was carnage. I mean, it was good to see we had a large selection of different races this year. Yeah. You know, we started off with six three years ago. So to have this amount of races yeah. and the big ones and continued carnage is uh, is really interesting to see. But amazing race. PCB way for the win. Oh, my God. We came through. We got the racer done. Got it over here and it wouldn't turn on. I oh, know. Oh, really? I got it turned on. Um, fired it up and, and we ended up coming back and winning. But well, you did a good job. I mean, this isn't the first rodeo for you either. No, no, no. Actually, the third win since we've been going. It's amazing. But what, what really sets it apart, I think that SLS yeah. is it's like battle proof. The weapon literally like blew another weapon apart. That's I went up against the uh, DeLorean right. and it blew the DeLorean's weapon apart. So PCB way for the win. That's not the end of this because we, we're enabling people You'll see this at Earth next year, or this year, sorry. We're basically putting a STEM program together where basically these things are gonna be free. If you wanna get sponsored, if you wanna get involved with different companies, we're gonna get the electronics kit that's gonna be coming out quite soon. 
And after we've got that electronic skit out, uh, basically we're going to be looking for sponsors for this whole event. So people that are building these right now, it's going to be cut totally cost neutral. We're going to have a sponsorship package nice. and it's going to be super awesome. So That's Jim, gonna be as awesome. always, thank, thank you for taking part, man. Good to see you, man. And in case you're wondering, it's like 100 degrees in here. We're, we're like, we're all pouring sweat right now, but it was a heck of a battle. Yeah. A lot of fun and uh, death racers for the win. I'm here with the Offset Maker crew and they had just spent all morning getting my racer ready to go, uh, the, the PCB Way SLS racers. We came back, we won the battle, unfortunately against you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they not only uh, they not only built mine, but then I beat them. And uh, I, I just have to say thank you guys so much. Without you guys, it wouldn't have been possible. And literally, you spent the whole morning rebuilding a racer that I thought was almost ready. One. And it, and won. it won. We, we did our so, job very yeah, well. Yeah. Technically, we still did win. So, so technically, yeah. they are winners because they built the winning racer, yeah? Uh, that, that SLS hold up, held up incredibly well. I, I literally blew I Jeremy over here. I literally blew his weapon off of his yeah, yeah. off of his racer. Uh, what do you think? Did it do good? I think it did great. I think it held up really well. Um, it may be the way these things need to go. We'll Possibly see. Yeah. Tolerances are a little tight on that. <laughs> a little fixing needs to be done for sure. Tolerance. Design for it. It'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. Got to design it a little bit differently for them. For the SLS. For the SLS. Yeah. The durability was incredible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It took so many hits. It did. And just kept going. And it knocked a bunch of heads off. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> These guys came up with a pretty awesome trophy. The thing is completely customized to look like a death racer standing yeah. there, uh, victorious. And uh, I won the death race, so yeah. these guys are giving me the trophy. And you can take the head off to put your head oh, on. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So the head comes off. So we got, we got the death race trophy. Number one, baby. Congratulations. <laughs> that's all the damage I took, and that is... Awesome. That means I can reuse this weapon again in the next races. I'm going to take you back to a test we did on the head. So uh, on the head, I had someone come in and just hit, you know, hit me while I was standing still to see how it goes. And you can see that while we're talking here. And now I'm going to break into a test we did on the rear boom. I'm going to have someone come in full speed with their weapon. They're going to hit the rear boom and we're going to see just how strong this SLS is. So we're going to do one more durability test. We are going to go full on run over with one of the uh, the giant racers here, the XLs. We're not sure what's going to happen, but we're going to find out in a second here. We're ready. Let's do it. Oh. Hey! Damn, that thing's just indestructible. PCB way for the win. Knock the head off the XL. All right, here we go. Full, another full speed hit with an XL racer. All right, this just took two full speed hits with uh, an XL Death Racer. And I have no damage. The, the glasses are coming off a little bit. I guess that's not no damage, but it's a little damage. Glasses are coming off a little bit, and that is about it. They did knock one of the panels off from PCB Way on the side panel, but that's okay. So this is how much bigger that XL Racer is compared to the uh, PCB Way Death Racer. This thing just took two full speed shots. We're good, nothing's broken. We're gonna keep rolling. Like I showed earlier, there's just some scuffs here from being run over by uh, the XL racers a total of four times now. But we're gonna actually take this gear off right here and we're gonna see how the uh, 3D printed SLS gears held up. So Ryan's gonna help me with that. There you go. All right, so let's check out how the gears fared here. Uh, we are just kind of spinning them around looking for chips, cracks, anything dented any imperfections that we can find. Not from here. And I don't see any, no brakes, no anything. You can see a little bit of belt material here in the drive gear, but that's nothing. That's awesome, man. All weekend driving, after hours battles, and, and not a single issue with that plastic. So pretty good. That's awesome. <gasps> Don't do it, don't do it, Batman. Oh, wait a minute. I had a plan, worked out, and they totally betrayed me. So I'm officially out of the first race, but that's okay. Uh, I have a better plan for the second race. Day two, we don't have a weapon yet. I'm still trying to spin it up again. I'm not sure what's going on, but my guess is it's a wiring thing. 
and we're gonna get it. I gotta spin up because uh, that's my, my, my good, there we go. So we got the weapon working. We're about ready for battle number two. I'm going straight. I'm going straight for Homer and Harley. I'm, I don't know what the other guys are gonna do. They're probably gonna go after me because I won yesterday, but that's what I'm going for. They're the biggest threats right now. Oh no, I'm a drive down. I have no drives, guys. So my drive system is about down here. I don't know what's going on. I'm stuck. Let me spin down. I'm stuck, there we go. Oh, um, I have a different head because tripod took my head. My, we're, we have drives. I think I got overheated in the last one, but we're gonna see what happens in this one. All right, here we go. It's an all out battle now. I have drives, I have a weapon. Uh-oh, I'm down again. I have no drives. <laughs> Third race, I'm out, that's okay. So my drives must be heating up because we've been racing for a while, but that's okay, a ton of fun. I won yesterday, but not today. PCB Way, thank you so much for this sponsorship. I couldn't thank you guys enough for printing all the SLS parts on this racer. We had a ton of fun right here at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival, and I hope you guys can come out to one of these events and see these death racers in person. We'll see you next time, and if you didn't check out this video, you should probably do that. <laughs>